Hey, did you oversleep? Until six in the afternoon? Nope. Are you okay? I didn't see you at breakfast or lunch. I'm not really feeling the best, to be honest. What's wrong? <laughs> Do you really want to know? It's up to you if you want to tell me. But I can see that you're hurt. Chris and I... broke up. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I've just been in my room all day thinking about it. Morgan? Maybe he just needs some time. I mean, you guys need each other. I don't know about that. He doesn't want me to get hurt. He's worried about drinking the healing potion. He doesn't want to take it, but he also doesn't want me to be in pain worrying about him. Do you think it's best? I don't know. You and Chris will make up again. You really think so? I do. It's going to be a while. I know you two will work things out. You really made me feel better. Yeah, of course. By the way, do you want a sandwich or something? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, well, thanks. No problem. I didn't expect the party to be so big. <laughs> yeah, but it's really fun though. Yeah, it is. Especially with you, Caitlin. Thank you for giving me a chance. I promise you won't regret it. Of course, Zarin. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Hey, it's Caitlin, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're Amara, Chase's little sister? Yep, that's me. I just wanted to ask if you're waiting for someone? Oh, yeah, I am. He went to the bathroom a little while ago. Oh, he'll probably be back soon. Yeah, you're right. Also, great party tonight. Are Thursdays usually this busy? Not usually, but I guess today's different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amara, what time is it? Um, let me check. It's 11 o'clock. 11? Yeah, 11. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's... everything's fine. How long have you been waiting here for? Well, we got here at about 10.15. You've been waiting over 30 minutes? I think you should go look around. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Amara. No problem. Hope you find him. Zarin! Caitlin! I'm just good at caring too much I'm just good at caring too much I wasn't crying because of Zarin. I was crying because I was so stupid. Thinking that I could start over and you didn't know that Zarin was like that at all. He's a terrible person for doing that to you. Jeez. Don't blame yourself. It's hard not to. I should have seen this coming. I mean, this is the second time someone has Caitlin. What? It's not your fault. Okay? Do not feel like you were the cause of this because there is nothing wrong with you. Believe me. Chase, thank you. You're welcome. Where do you live? I think I should get you home. You're probably right. Come on. Thanks, Chase. You're welcome. Um, Caitlin? Why is Chase Grayson here? Oh, hi. <laughs> I just came to drop Caitlin off. I'll see you around, okay? Okay. Is everything okay? Not really. Um... Hey, need any help? 
Hey, Betty, and sure, thanks. It's no problem. Betty? Yeah, Jason? I've been thinking, and I... I want you to come back with me. You what? I want you to come back to California with me. Help me find my friends, and for you to be my girlfriend, because I... I really like you. A lot. R really Yes. Jason. These past few days we've known each other. There's just been a connection. I can't block out. I really like you, and I would be so happy if you came with me. Jason, yes. Yes? Yes, of course! Hey, Jason. Are you ready? I am, but Betty's coming with us too. You are? Yeah, Jason just asked me. Perfect. I just have a question. How are you going to know where your friends are? Jason accidentally took Chris's flashlight, so we can use that to find their location. I better go pack and tell everyone. I'm gonna go finish packing. Okay, let's leave in a few. Oh my god, what a jerk. Has he came back yet? No, I just heard you guys in the living room. Is Morgan in her room? Actually, I haven't seen her all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey guys. Hey. Hey, me and Derek were just hanging out. Yeah, we went to the beach and tried not to get seen by zombies. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel better. Anytime. Did I just hear the back door close? It's midnight! Yeah, Derek and Morgan just got home. Sorry if we woke you up, Toby. Oh no, it's fine. It's not like I want to sleep or anything. Toby, come on. We all know you were just coding. The point is, it was loud. And what if I was coding? You never go to bed at midnight anyway. You don't know my sleep schedule? Then why um, are you down guys, here if you were awake in the first place? Because it sounded like a damn zombie opened the back door. Guys. Oh yeah, like zombies can physically open doors? Jason? We made it, right? Who the hell are you? We were trying to find Jason's friend and his brother's flashlight brought us here and- Oh, you found us all right. Who are you? I'm Jordan, Jason's spirit. Wait a minute, you're his spirit? Yes, I am. I don't sense any- Guys, you don't know how happy I am to see you all again. <laughs> what? If you're so happy to see us again, why did you leave in the first place? I left because Autumn convinced me. Jason, can't you think for yourself? I doubt Autumn was the reason for everything you did. I can't blame Autumn for my decisions. I can't. But she persuaded me during that time to do stupid things, and I'm sorry. I should have never left you guys because if I stayed, the house would have still been yours, Caitlin. Okay, who is down here? What are you guys doing? It's midnight, and I have a really bad headache. Well, speaking of headaches... I didn't expect everyone to be up. <laughs> Caitlin, I couldn't find you at the party. You couldn't find me because you were too busy making out with a complete stranger? What are you talking about? I went to the bathroom and I couldn't find you when I came back. You already moved on? Jason, out of all people, you shouldn't be talking about moving on so fast. Hold on a minute. Jason? Jason, your ex? What are you doing here? I came here to find my friends. Can we talk somewhere else? No! Okay, hold on. What happened between you and Zarin? It's none of your business, Gwen. It is if you treat girls like that. What did he do to you? Zarin asked me out, and we went to Chase's party. He said he was going to the bathroom, and he didn't come back after 30 minutes. So, I went looking for him, and found him kissing another girl. I didn't cheat! You kissed her first! I think this can- You would know, right Jason? Chris, what are you doing here? I thought you were with your girlfriend. I- Go on, explain. In fact, I think we'd all love to hear the story again. Autumn poisoned me unconscious, and sent me to Alaska after I told her I was done. I was done with her and what she was doing. I came back to find you guys. It took you this long to figure out Autumn was crazy, huh? Okay guys, everyone speak one at a time. There's way too much going on at once. We don't have to listen to you. At least I didn't cheat on someone I just asked out. Right? That's what I thought. I didn't cheat. I know what I saw. I should have never trusted you. You used me. For what? For just a ticket to get into the party? Were you just bored of the date? Don't worry about us. I wasn't using you to get into the party. And I wasn't bored. Look, Caitlin, I wasn't interested in that girl. And we're about to believe the BS that's going to come out of your mouth? You haven't given us a real explanation of why you cheated. So Jason, it's your turn. Explain yourself. Okay, 
I will. Caitlin, the only reason why I cheated... You're right, wasn't only because of Autumn. I did want a break, but Autumn took it a step further and convinced me that you still like Drake. I initially wanted a break because our relationship felt different to me. But why? Why cheat? I don't know why. I really don't. I was stupid, and I'm really sorry. When I was in Alaska, I almost froze to death, but someone helped me stay alive. It was Betty. And after that, I recovered. Jordan became my spirit. That's strange. I can't sense him. Well... Is everything okay? All I can ask from you guys is another chance. What good are we gonna do? Aren't you just gonna use us? What happened with Autumn was a mistake. I even confronted her about it. I told her that I was done with her and her games. I was gonna find you guys, but she stabbed me with a syringe filled with poison. I'm so sorry. I promise I'll never leave you ever again. I've changed, I swear. I just wanted another chance. Are you just apologizing for a place to stay? He's not. He talks about you all the time. Who is she? This is Betty. We're together. She's the girl who saved me. No offense, but didn't you just break up with Autumn? How could you move on so fast? There was nothing to move on from. Look, guys, I will make it up to you. I promise. I'm sorry for leaving, and I'm sorry for cheating on you, Caitlin. Toby, is it okay if they can stay? It's up to you guys, but I need sleep. Night. So, can we still go out again? I have better things to do. Fine, have fun without me. <laughs> what happened between you guys? I'll tell you later. What happened between you and Chris? I'll tell you later. Betty, Jordan, there's a few empty rooms upstairs, but can we talk to Jason alone? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Jason, I have a question for you. Yeah? Why didn't you set Luna free? I don't know. You really want our forgiveness? Yes! It's gonna take a while. I just wanted to know if I have Caitlyn's forgiveness too. I... I'll make it up to all of you. Come on, Jason. Do you want me to tell you what happened? It's up to you, Morgan. I'll tell you. Come on. Hey Rose, there's something I need to tell you. Hazel, there's something I need to tell you too. Okay, you go first. Okay, um, well, you know Jason's spirit, Jordan, right? Yeah, I do. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. It's just, we're dating.